Hello everyone and welcome back. Today I'm going to be making a Father's Day card using some Mama Elephant and Lawn Fawn products. I did a little bit of pre-die cutting to start with. Um, I did the simple stitched hill, grassy hillside border. I used the, um, the tree border from Lawn Fawn. I can't remember what the name is, but I'll make sure it's in the description. I used the stitched mountain border die from Lawn Fawn. And I also use the reveal wheel die from Lawn Fawn. I figured I'd do all that die cutting ahead of time so that um, it wouldn't eat up a whole lot of video time. And I'm using a standard um, four and a quarter by five and a half note card. Next, I'm taking some of my distress inks and I'm going to make a night sky background using some uh, Bristol smooth paper is what I used for my uh, reveal wheel panel. Just getting the inks blended together so I get a nice transition of the colors. I wanted to make sure that it was a nice gradient to the um, to the colors. You're not going to see a whole lot of the background because of the borders that I'm going to put in later, but I really like the end product of the the border that I created, or the background that I created, excuse me. This was the second um, reveal wheel that I got to do. The first one turned out really great and I'm kind of addicted to it now. It's so easy to make. I really love to make these. They're so interactive and fun. Once I had that background all done and blended the way that I liked it, I took some, I just have some like acrylic paint, some white acrylic paint, and I'm gonna put some dots all over the background. Uh, I used a little bit of water as well just to kind of give it a little bit of that distressing. I wanted to make it look like it was a night sky with stars. And I just used a little bit of that paint. It's pretty opaque, that's the reason why I use it. I don't feel the need to buy anything else when I've got this here and it works really good. I was having a hard time with that little brush getting the splatters that I wanted. It was just too tiny, so I went and grabbed a um, like a water brush pen and that seemed to work a lot better. And it was just easy to clean off, just wiped it off and it was good to go. I really liked the way that it came out. Next I'm gonna set that aside to dry and I'm gonna color my bears. These are from the Bear Hugs stamp set from Mama Elephant. I just thought this was so cute and perfect. Now while I'm coloring, I'm gonna put on some music for you. And whenever I'm all done coloring, I'll come back and we'll finish up the card together. Okay, now that my coloring was all done, I took the coordinating dies for the stamp set and I cut those out. I really like having coordinating dies for images like this because I'm always terrified to fussy cut them out. I'm afraid I'm gonna mess it up, especially the tiny bees. They were a little hard to get lined up, but I eventually got it in the end. Sorry if my head gets in the way, I just wanted to make sure that they were lined up good. The weather's starting to get really nice around here. 
It's still raining almost every day, but it's still going to be, I think, a nice summer if it ever quits raining. I don't know if where you're at it's raining, but here in central Pennsylvania, it rains almost every day now. Going to have a nice soggy summer. Going to need a boat to get away. <laughs> okay, now that I had those all cut out, I decided to take um, my Secura Black Gel Pen and just add a little bit of brightness to their eyes and to their noses. I really enjoyed, really like doing that. I think it kind of makes them pop a little bit more. And I took my white pen and just added some highlights. I know they wouldn't really have these in nature, but I like the way that it makes them look, kind of makes them stand out a little bit more too. Now that that was all done, now you didn't see me um, ink blend this, the reveal wheel, uh, wheel, I guess, uh, because I made a mistake. <laughs> Instead of heat embossing the sentiments first and then ink blending it, I thought maybe I could get away with doing it beforehand and I messed it up. But I just wanted to leave this in here so you could see how I put it together. I used some scrapbook adhesive dots and lined up the reveal wheel so that it was centered in that window and then I stuck it down using a little brad as well. So here's my mistake, bad mistake. <laughs> and so this time I decided to heat emboss it first and then ink blend afterwards. And it worked 10 times better. Sorry if my head gets in the way. Um, I just got a new Misty, so I was waiting for that to come in. That's the only reason why I used a ink, uh, excuse me, an acrylic block for this. And I used Versafine ink and I used Brutus Monroe Alabaster White embossing powder. It's probably my new favorite embossing powder right now. It's so bright. And then I got my heat gun out and made sure to keep my heat gun moving so that the, um, the wheel wouldn't warp too bad. And once that was all done, I decided to ink blend it now and it turned out a lot better. Oh, first I erased all of my pencil marks. You probably wouldn't have seen them anyway over the ink blending, but just have it. I use the same colors. I think Chip Sapphire and Black Soot. And then I eventually grabbed a little scrap piece of paper because the Bristol Smooth Paper, um, the ink sits on it longer and it can leave fingerprints. my ink again because my sponge was just didn't have quite enough ink on it there's my scrap paper I didn't want to get my fingerprints in it I was a little intimidated when I first saw the reveal wheel I thought no I'm not gonna be able to do that I'm not gonna come up with any ideas and now that I have it it's just so easy to use it really is I'm really pleased that I got it I have so many ideas I want to do with it especially around the holidays. I think all of my family and friends that I send it to are gonna just love it. Okay, now that I have all that done, I'm gonna get ready to assemble everything. I'm gonna clean off my mat here. And I just wanted to dry that a little bit so I didn't smudge it and get any more ink on it. And I put it back together with a little brad. And there it spins. Now I'm going to, I think I heat embossed, yes, I heat embossed my sentiment um, for the outside panel using the same Versafine ink and the Alabaster White embossing powder. And I just used my static cling tool to so I didn't get any embossing powder where I didn't want it. And I just use a little bit of scrap paper to collect my embossing powder. And I always make sure that it's closed because it'll end up flying everywhere if I don't. I just keep my heat gun moving so I don't warp my paper. 
and I didn't let it sit long enough, and I accidentally, I wiped it too soon, and I smudged one of my letters, but you can't really tell too much. I know I did it, and kind of frustrated myself a little bit, but it still turned out really good. And then I noticed that my, when I had done that, my star started to go away a little bit, so I just took that same white paint earlier, and I just kind of drew them back in, or painted them back in, excuse me. Now I'm going to get my background put together and finish this card up. I just used the Lawn Fawn glue tube to glue on the little mountain tops. And what I did was I just trimmed them around. What I did here is I took the border die and I cut it out first. And then I took the reveal wheel and lined it up where I wanted that mountain. So that whenever I place it on here, it, the mountains have that notch in it as well and it just fit perfectly. I couldn't have been more pleased with how this card turned out. And my dad liked it too. He really enjoyed it. He thought it was neat how I got that spinning wheel in it. He really enjoyed it. So it was a shout out to my dad. And I popped this grassy border up a little bit. I wanted to have just a little bit of dimension on it there so that the bears could kind of tuck in behind it. I just glued those down with the same liquid glue. And I put the bees on there. My son commented to me, why would the bees be out at night? And I thought about it a little bit more and he was probably right, but I like the bees on there, so. <laughs> and I just used some 3D foam tape on the panel here to pop up that front panel so that the reveal wheel could spin underneath. I just used one one layer. I didn't feel the need to double it up because there's just enough room for that reveal wheel to spin around. To get that panel put together, then I'm gonna glue it on to my card base. There it spins. Oh, and I took my white my white gel pen as well and added some more stars. What I also did was, is on the actual panel itself, I added stars where those were at, so it didn't look like it was just a blank spot. I probably could have splattered it after it was done, but this worked out just as good. There, and it was very cohesive then after that. So I glued it down to my panel here. Oh, I'm sorry, I did not glue it down first. I decided to put my sentiment on the inside first before I glued it. I used the sentiments from the Bear Hugs die, or excuse me, stamp set. I really like the sentiment on it. Now I decided to glue it down. I got my panel all glued down there and it spun around. And then I took the little arrow die that comes in the reveal wheel set and I glued it there on the side. And that finishes up for my card today. Thank you for joining me. I hope you have a wonderful day and a wonderful week. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and I'll be seeing you in the next video. Thanks, bye.